This makes the blood thicker, which increases the vascularity and increases the size of the vein. Uh oh. The appearance of I the feel muscles. Like I, I feel like I got pretty. I feel like I got pretty decent sized veins. I'm not like off a pump right now, but like they they where they're supposed to be. Look, small veins, no steroids. Y'all say no veins in the chest. Besides, don't mind this one. That's the shoulder. That doesn't count. Oh come on. Okay, they're they're. I'm a little dressed. Social media has had a big influence. I'm a little. I'm a little stressed. I'm a little dressed. How you can tell anyone is on steroids? Chat, I feel like we should all just watch this video together because uh, I feel like our perception of uh, who's on steroids and who's not on steroids is a bit fucked up, you know what I'm saying? Need to be an attainable natural physique. When I'm in one of my doom scrolls through Instagram. W. Yeah, w. Kaisenet Speed Hybrid Club. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That's what I always wanted to be, bro, was a Kaisenet Speed Hybrid Clone. Uh, clone. That shit is so crazy. Yes, it is. You know what I'm saying? Yes, it is. You feel me? Yes, it is, mate. That that what it that what it is. Oh, what it is. Well, he ain't gonna lie. Shorts. I see comments of popular enhanced influencers going back and forth about whether they can achieve a similar physique naturally. On the flip side, there are people that are in good shape, but their comments are filled with accusations of steroid use. This has the body image scale totally out of balance. And if you were an experienced lifter, you'd have no idea of a reasonable target to set your physique. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. I, I, yo, so far, I like the video, yo. You got me hooked, ain't gonna lie. Aspirations towards. So I, today, I'm gonna show you a few ways to actually tell. Fellow black man. On steroids. But first, what are steroids? Because we hear this word and others like trend, gear. What do they actually mean? Yeah. Steroids, fully known as anabolic androgenic steroids, are synthetic copies of the hormone testosterone. When you take steroids, you increase your testosterone way beyond the natural levels. You know that testosterone regulates muscle growth and fat distribution. It's also shown to increase your discipline and motivation to achieve your goals. So people taking steroids have enhanced muscle growth and strength, improved athletic performance, quicker recovery from intense workouts, and the ability to work out longer and more frequently than natural lifters. Now, even when you take steroids, it still requires a lot of hard work to make gains. But Jeff Nippard made a great video showing the effects of steroids and the results. Well, let's just say they were surprising. In 2001, why bro look like he got Down syndrome? Though? What the fuck? Same research group did a follow-up study to see how much muscle mass changes with different doses of steroids. I mean, I'm not, I'm not the most, I'm not the most handsome person in the book, but like, damn, I, I like. Jeff's at least I look regular. Five different doses of testosterone. The lowest dose added just under one pound of muscle. I think I look regular. Muscle gained increased right alongside the steroid dosage, with the group taking the biggest dose, adding just about 20 pounds of muscle in 20 weeks. This isn't the high- All right, chat. I'm gonna start my, I'm gonna start my um, 600 milligram cycle uh, tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I'm gonna track it on my new my YouTube channel. And it's just gonna go ultra viral platinum. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to put my body in, in, in harm's way for you guys. And we're gonna see how big I can get with uh, with 600 milligrams of, of, of uh, steroids. Highest responder. This is the average. Oh, I guess I should also mention. <laughs> Wait, they grew this much and it didn't lift weights? Zero lifting. They just took steroids. While there's nothing wrong with using steroids, I think the scrutiny comes when people have You've been there and, and, and you've been there and done that. Alright. I guess I've I guess I've already taken steroids. Oh my god, bro. This fucking chair. Oh, every time, bro. I get all right. I guess I've already done my. I already started my cycle, bro. You know what I'm saying? I guess I have bad back knee. I have horrible, horrible skin because um because I'm actually off the juice, guys. My nipples are percolating. You know what I'm saying? I have bad gyno. All the signs that I'm on steroids, they're there, bro. You know what I'm saying? And claim to be natural. I've only been lifting for um two two days. <laughs> You're on that trend then. Tricking people to buy their program. All right. As people want to achieve a similar physique, not knowing that it's unnatural. The first sign is a huge neck, huge shoulders, and huge trap muscles.
Huge neck. Mm, debatable. Huge traps. Debatable. Huge shoulders. Let's keep watching, chat. Let's keep watching. Let's keep watching. Let's keep watching. Especially the neck and shoulders. Any lifter will tell you that the shoulders are one of the most stubborn areas to grow. And then most lifters don't even directly train their neck muscles. But when steroids are used, they bind to androgen receptors in muscle cells, stimulating muscle growth. The shoulders, neck, and traps have been shown. It's not looking good, bruv. Have high amounts <laughs> it's of it's androgen it's receptors. It's not looking good. Faster and bigger than normal. So when you see someone with bolder shoulders, big traps, and a massive neck, it's okay to be a bit skeptical, especially if they have more of these upcoming signs. Another sign is that they are big and shredded at the same time. Some people claim this to be genetics. While this could be true, not everybody can be a genetic freak. There are rules of body composition that apply in most cases. If you want to build muscle uh -oh. and gain size, it's not looking good, good bro. It's not looking good. When you gain muscle, you also gain some fat because you're eating extra calories. It's not, it's not looking good, good bro. You need to be in a caloric deficit, which makes it harder to maintain size and build muscle effectively because you're oh, eating no. calories for your muscles. There may be some people that can build some muscle while maintaining a relatively low body fat percentage. But if you see anybody straight up defying this rule, meaning that they are massive but super shredded, they're likely to be taking steroids. Anyone can have some level of vascularity because your veins tend to show when you have a lower body fat percentage, especially in places like your arms, forearms, and even your legs if you don't skip leg day. Your vascularity will be even more visible if you have a pump from a workout which most influencers often do. The telling sign is when the vascularity begins to look unnatural. For steroid users, you'll often see veins in uncommon places like the chest, the shoulders, and the back. And what's an even bigger indicator is the thickness of the vein. This super vascularity is because steroids increase blood volume and blood lipids. This makes the blood thicker, which increases the vascularity and increases the size of the vein. Uh oh. The appearance of I the feel muscles. Like, I, I feel like I got pretty. I feel like I got pretty decent sized veins. I'm not like off a pump right now, but like they they where they're supposed to be. Look, small veins, no steroids. You know what I'm saying? No veins in the chest. Besides, don't mind this one. That's the shoulder. That doesn't count. Oh come on. Okay, they're they're. <laughs> also tell you someone's taking steroids. In natural body uh -oh. bodies, to achieve uh -oh. cleanness, they dehydrate their muscles, uh -oh. meaning they don't retain <laughs> much fluid in their muscles. This makes the skin look dry and thin. This allows for the separations between muscles, the vascularity, and the striations to be seen clearly near competition time. Away from competition, they have a bulkier look as they focus on gaining muscle and size. And this results in a fuller appearance due to the increased muscle fluid retention. This allows them to build a solid foundation of muscle mass before then cutting near competition time. Someone using steroids can attain this dry look while still retaining the fullness and bulkiness of their muscles. This is another reason they can be big and shredded at the same time. All right. Someone can be huge, but you can still see clear separations in between them. All right. Now, steroids have tons of side effects. Tons. Which I'll be making a video covering soon. No. So Tons of side effects. Side effects. Side effects. The medication of using steroids are acne and gynecomastia. Acne it? is normally caused when your hair follicles become plugged with excess oil and dead skin cells from your oil. Beautiful oil. fine skin. Steroid acne has almost the same symptoms. Beautiful fine acne, skin. But the use of steroids makes the oil glands more susceptible Come to on now. and infection. Come on, and talk to them. The acne. Talk this to them. This article found that steroids can cause acne in up to fifty percent of its users. Gyno is another side. Let's see the back. You know? No, no, no back knee. You know? Look, look at it. Where's the act? Where's the act? Where's it? Where's it? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Wait, 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 what? Wait, what is that? Wait, what is that? Okay, pretty good skin. Tie shit, tie shit. Okay. Got that scary there. Side effect. Where fatty breast tissue, usually found in women, 
develops around the nipples in men. Oh, this is hell. Caused... What the? This is caused by the estrogenic hormones. Testosterone is converted into estrogen. So when there's an increase in testosterone due to steroid use, estrogen levels also increase, causing gyne. What? what? I see darkness in the middle of the back. <laughs> but it looks like breath marks. Yes, I'm pretty sure they're breath marks. I, I don't know. I've never seen my back before. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I also got a big old mark on my chest that's also a breath. You feel me, Ruski? Was it, if it, is it dark like this? If it's dark like this, yes, it's breath marks. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oof. Male pattern baldness. Oof, indeed. Facial hair and rapid body hair growth are also common side effects of steroid use. Hey. This can happen in the average person. Come on now. If you were wondering why you don't see side effects, just know that videos and pictures can easily be edited or users will often wear clothes and hats to cover up the side effects. And lastly, some users might post results of their testosterone levels to prove that they're not taking any steroids. These results though are often in the low end ranges of testosterone, which is normal for someone coming off of a cycle because high dosage of steroids can affect your body's natural testosterone production. So if you see someone that's massive and you're suspecting and then they post results that are unexpectedly low, they may be using steroids. Now that we've gone through the science, I just wanted to mention some key notes. First, you can't accuse someone of taking steroids if they have just one or two of these signs because it's a combination of all of them. To yeah, the entire picture. it's a combination. One or two of these signs for reasons outside of steroid use. Another thing is that despite being aware of these signs, it's still difficult to say that someone is or isn't on steroids because someone could not have any of these signs and still be on a low dosage of steroids or performance enhancing drug. Time shit. Or someone can have, all, well, not all, most of these signs and not be on steroids, which is very unlikely, but can happen. And lastly, there are some people that are genetically blessed. And this is probably what causes most of the confusion. But as I said before, not everybody can... I fit in that last category, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my mom and dad, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to genetics, you know what I'm saying? Be a genetic freak. So if it looks unnatural, it most likely is. Okay, like all jokes aside, broski, you know what I'm saying? I just wanna like, that video was supposed to help you like figure out both of those that, but it's, it is very difficult to like, like actually know, unless like they, they like, you see them actually taking like the antibiotic steroids or just any like kind of sis, um, substance, you know what I'm saying? It is very much difficult, you know what I'm saying? So long, let's, let's not like go around trolling upon these words, you know what I'm saying, bro? Because people work very hard for their bodies, you know what I'm saying, broski? Like me, you know what I'm saying? I've been training for literally 10 plus years, my guy. 10 plus years of consistent gym work. Just so people can say you're on steroids, you know what I'm saying, broski? I mean, it's, I think I'll take it as a compliment, but at the same time, like, it do be, it do be getting annoying a lot. It do be getting annoying sometimes, they ain't gonna lie to you, broski. But, you know, uh, 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 um, you know what I'm saying? Just, just, just work hard, you know what I'm saying? Stay safe, consistent, you know what I'm saying? You too can uh, 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 achieve this body too. Cut, child.